From the outside of this base, it may seem like every other design. But once you step foot inside, you'll quickly realize that this solo duo fortress has the potential to win raids on its own. With an easy to build starter, an open box loot area, 360 degree peaks around your base, and roof retake defenses, you'll be dominating your wipe with the Eden. Now, I'm sure you want to see inside the base, so let's do that right now. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another base design video. Today, we have the Eden. Now, this video is a solo duo base design, and it's pretty cheap, and it has a lot of new features you guys gotta wait to check out stepping off this mini satori disconnectable we get the upkeep on one of two external tcs as you can see 500 metal frags and a thousand stone times two which is really affordable on this base we just have a classic disconnectable break that and replace it with a frame sipping in this gatehouse we get a peek off to the right and left sides of your compound and we also have a nice little window peek out to the raiders or door campers Stepping into the actual compound, we have a nice little spacious compound. Four large furnaces in here. And we have a two-sided bedroom with peaks out to kind of hold the outside of the walls. Two beds in here, two lockers. Perfectly fits four respawns for your player. Or two respawns if you're playing in a duo. Stepping in the little airlock in the front gate. We have a peak off to the left and right side of your compound. And we have a mini shell on this, a first story shell. Nice little ring with beds. And you can spam boxes or whatever you guys want in here. You could also fit stashes down here to be sneaky or whatever you guys want. And this is an up and over two by one base design. So your second story is going to be filled with boxes. It's going to be your main loot area, you could call it. And this is also really, really expensive through garage doors to raid. So if you're going offline, you know, it's very expensive to raid. Stepping down into here, you're going to get to the main starter of your base, which is a two by one, as I said. And this is going to be the main upkeep on TC. 7k stone and 8k metal, as you could tell very cheap coming back out the airlock and stepping back up into the second story we're going to take a third story jump up up and this is going to be the main retake floor so off to the right and left sides we have these nice little breach peak style things up here that gives you slight peaks off to the left and right and super good roof peak ups as well for online raids as I said, beds in the center. We have a nice little wide gap angle here to cover far out angles and back into your compound. Window peaks as normal, and we have ramp peaks to fit the crouch meta. Overall, a really good retake floor and an online raid is almost impossible in this base design. There's zero angles that they don't see. The roof is extremely simple. You can put turrets on there and put a half floor here, but I just decided to do two turrets as it fits a lot of cost down. You have two beds here, and you can also put a roof like this instead of this, but I just decided to do a half floor out of wood just to save cost. And you can also retake some of your shooting floor if you get up to roof and you have the raiders inside your shooting floor. Two entrances up the roof, and multiple respawns, two windmills on each side, and you can spam batteries inside the base below. But overall, a really, really well-designed base. Now, I'm sure you guys want to see how to build it, so let's get right into the tutorial. If you're into rust skins, then you've probably heard about Howl.gg. I'm not going to do a giant boring ad read, but if you want to bet your skins live on slots, coin flip, and whatever else game modes you choose, use my code SECRET on there for a free $1. You can also cash out your skins on crypto or whatever you choose. Now, let's get right back into the video.